Good morning, everyone. My name is Xiong Zongchen, and I'm eight years old. Today, let me share with you about my topic called Save the Environment. What is environment? It is derived from the French word environment, which means to encircle or to surround. It comprises of water, air, and land and the interrelationships that exist among them with human beings, other living organisms and materials. Let me share with you, here are the five world's biggest environmental problems. Number one, air pollution and climate change. Number two, deforestation. Number three, species extinction. Number four, soil degradation. Number five, overpopulation. I'll share, I'll share with you in more detail for the first three biggest environmental problems. Number one, air pollution and climate change. Overloading of the atmosphere and of ocean waters with carbon, leading to warmer air, soils, and ocean surface waters. Burning of fossil fuels, deforestation for agriculture and industrial activities pushed up atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations from 200 ppm 200 years ago to about 400 ppm today. Here is an example of air pollution happening in Lahore, Pakistan. Air pollution is one of Pakistan's main environmental concerns. The smog is caused primarily by the high volume of road traffic, rubbish, rubbish incineration, and dust from the surrounding deserts. Here's the list of countries had the worst air quality in year 2020. Here is Pakistan, ranked number two. The average air quality is 153 compared to Malaysia. The average air quality is 58. Lahore, Pakistan is the most polluted city. The average air quality is 163. What can we do to help? Replace fossil fuels with renewable energy, reforestation, reduce emissions from agricultural this change and change industrial processes. Number two, deforestation. Species rich wild forests are being destroyed. About 7.3 million hectares of forests are destroyed each year. Tropical forests used to cover about 15% of the planet's land area. They are now down to six or 7%. This is caused by logging or burning. What can we do to help? Conserve of what's left of natural forests and natural forests and restore degraded areas by replanting with native tree species. This requires strong governance, but many tropical countries st are still developing, with increasing populations, uneven rule of law, and widespread cronism and bribery when it comes to allocating land use. Number three, species extinction. On land, wild animals are being hunted to extinction for bushmeat, ivory, or medicinal products at sea. Huge industrial fishing boats equipped with bottom trawling or pressing nets clean up entire fishing fish populations. The loss and destruction of habitat are also major, major factors contributing to a wave of extinction. Here's an example of American black bear species extinction. The American black bear is one of more than 22,000 species threatened with extinction. During the past century, animals have been disappearing about 100 times faster than they used to. Scientists from different American universities won in a new study. According to the WWF, around 70 species go extinct every day. Here is an, another example of orangutan species extinction. 
orangutans, the world's largest tree climbing mammals, are critically endangered largely to, due to deforestation across Indonesia and Malaysia. The population of these tree of these three species of orangutan are now estimated as follows. Bodian orangutan, 104,700 left. Sumatran orangutan, 13,846 left. Tabanuri orangutan, 800 left. Here is another example of helmeted hornbill species extinction. Helmeted hornbills, the largest hornbill, not just in Sarawak, but also in Borneo, is now critically in danger. They are killed by poachers who remove and sell their unique casks. There are fewer than 100 birds remaining in Thai forests. What can we do to help? Concerted efforts need to be made to prevent further loss of biology biodiversity. Protecting and restoring habitats is one side of this. Protecting against poaching and wildlife trade is another. This should be done in partnership with local so that wildlife conservation is in their social and economic interest. So my dear parents and friends, we are part of the ecosystem and we need to breathe the air and we also live together with the environment. So together we do our part and save the environment for a better tomorrow and for our future generations. That's all from me. Thank you.